Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheila and if you are new, welcome. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for all your support and love. Um, for today's video, I am doing my weekly cash stuffing. I am doing laundry, so I'm sorry if you can hear my washing machine going. Um, yeah, today's my day off, so I'm trying to get things done and multitask and you know trying to finish everything in one day so i can have a little bit of free time for this um weekend i am feeling a little bit better since my last cash stuffing video i still feel like if i talk a lot i want to start coughing um but i do have my coffee i made me a second cup of coffee this is um i wanted to make a second one because I'm feeling still a little bit like low energy um, but I did wake up super early and I did my nails I might have a video on how I did these gel X nails um, I'm not sure if this video is going to go before or after sometimes I film but I just don't have time to edit so hopefully I will have time to edit the, the nail video and I will post it um, so let's go ahead and get started honestly I did have $500 in here but I do have some money that I need to pay back to my credit card and then we'll get started with our cash stuffing so let's go ahead and get started I went ahead and switched out um my wallet to my little steve madden i'm actually going to use this because i want to get back um having my cash in my wallet i think i do a little bit better having my cash on hand than using using the credit card all the time do better since you guys know i've been going a little bit over budget with eating out and groceries so um i don't know we'll we'll see but i kind of miss having cash on hand so um but anyways groceries i do have some money left over i do have to relaminate this envelope i have five six seven dollars that i have left in here i am going to keep this money in here i'm not going to use it for my challenges just because i did go over in groceries and so i want to keep that in there gas i do have ten dollars left over in gas um i only use thirty dollars this week so i'm going to be um putting the ten dollars for our challenge and then household i did have some money left over i had eight dollars left over so i'm going to be keeping this because i need to check my expenses and see if i didn't buy anything else um i didn't have time to check it before this cash stuffing so i want to leave that in there just in case because i'm not sure if i used it up or not so i just want to i'm just going to leave it in there um personal care i didn't spend any on personal care um spend you guys i broke my no spend rule for october so as you can see my nails yep i ended up getting some different nails and i'll talk about um, in the video how I wanted some nails that I don't have to file like the shine part off I wanted something that I can just put on and then go straight with my gel polish so I found these nails on Amazon that were less than ten dollars but but I also ended up getting the um, this color gel polish and it was like $5.99 plus tax anyways um, I spent about $15 on the nails and the nail polish and um, I don't regret it because I absolutely love my nails and hopefully they will stay um, for more than a week I did the gel X method so yeah I broke my nose bend and today's the 25th and it was i almost made it but i just i had to do something with my nails you guys and i don't have um too much time to be like filing and doing all this stuff so i this method worked so much better i didn't have to file the top um of the nail i just went straight with my gel polish it was so much easier quicker love the process so i'm definitely going to continue doing this method instead i definitely want to buy more colors in this brand um gel polish because um honestly with one coat was enough but i did two coats of gel polish and it was super pigmented um love the quality of the gel polish and so yeah i'm definitely going to continue hopefully buying more for work this is one that i do have to pay back so work i have to pay eight dollars back so 
for work i didn't even what did i spend it on i spent it on definitely some soda i remember getting two sodas on two different days and the reason why i buy sodas at work is because i don't buy sodas for the house and so sometimes i want like a coca-cola or um they have diet dr pepper which i like so yeah i love my soda i can't help it and i just don't like buying it for the house because if i have it here then i will drink it a lot more and so that's the reason why i don't um keep it in hand so these two dollars are going to go towards our um challenge and then i also have um kodak's change so kodak had three dollars left over i'm going to be adding to his envelope and now he has 103 definitely need a new hairbrush if i can remind myself to get it i will get him one um so let's go ahead and cash stuff for the week so i'm kind of glad that i had eight dollars left over because i have been well the second week is when i did super bad on groceries this week i am going to be cash stuffing 200 dollars, and now now we have a hundred and seven dollars for this week's groceries if i have any money i'm gonna try to roll it over for groceries because um that way you know i have extra money restaurant is going to be getting thirty dollars i have been going over in restaurants so this week i'm just going to be adding thirty dollars i'm gonna up my budget because i think twenty dollars is just not doing it um so i'm gonna add 30. gas i am going to be adding 40 dollars in gas i just got gas yesterday so i'm gonna be doing an uncash stuffing because i also went grocery shopping household is going to be getting 20 dollars for household this week i think i'm gonna be doing hopefully if i have time today i do want to go to cvs and do a um household deal because i do have eight dollars in extra bucks that i can use towards my next purchase so i definitely want to go to cvs and get some household items i know that i got that big um, bucket of tide um but i want to stock up i have been doing that with my groceries also like stocking up on certain things that are on sale and so i definitely want to go to cvs um, so I now have 20, 25, 26, 27, and 28 for household. Again, I'm not sure if I use those $8 or not. I have to look at my purchases from my past week. Um, personal care is not going to get anything this week. Spend. Um, I might get, if I do do some type of personal care deal at CVS, I'm just going to use my household um, money because the deal that i want to do has extra bucks back so i might use the extra bucks to use towards my personal um stuff personal care stuff like toothpaste and things like that spend is going to be getting twenty dollars so i broke my no spend and yeah i'm super sad about it but i'm kind of not because i like buying like even if it's like small things or you know um whether it's like nail thing sticker makeup or um i'm probably going to use this money for health not health care for self-care um i need a new moisturizer again so that's probably going to go towards that work is going to be getting ten dollars i think i've been doing pretty good at work with my budget i have been spending ten dollars or less so i think i've been doing pretty good at work i've been bringing my lunch um, I have been bringing my lunch so that has definitely helped I have just been buying like sodas or gum or um, I did buy breakfast one time last week and so um, I think I've been doing pretty good so far miscellaneous I'm not gonna budget anything Bryson is not gonna get anything Kodak is going to be getting 25 because Kodak needs some um, you know what he has food right now and he might only just need snacks this week we'll see how far his food that he has now lasts because he we just now opened like a brand new box so we'll see about that and that is my wallet so next is my challenges so for my challenges i do have 
Um, let me count this money because I don't know if I'm going to use all of it for challenges. I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 140, 150, 60, 160, 165, 166, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. So 172 for my challenges. So let's go ahead and add towards that. So I'm getting my um, pink binder where I have my challenges. I'm gonna take a quick sip of my coffee. Let's go ahead and get started with this. Let me get my highlighter, my Sharpie, my Sharpie pen, and <coughs> my regular pen. I absolutely love this pen. This is not erasable, but this is from Pentel. I don't know. It's a 0 0.7 tip. I absolutely love how smooth it writes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with my challenges. So the first one I am going to be doing is my 52 week challenge and I am going to be adding $40 to this one this week. So 40, let's go ahead and oop, write this down. We are almost, how much is that? We are almost needing a new tracker. So let's go ahead and add and see how much we have. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 620. So we have 620 for our $1,300. All right, next is our $300 savings challenge. Let's go ahead and add $10 to this one right here. So let's use our highlighter to highlight this and add our $10 to the back. So we should have $190. So we have 150, 70, 80, 90. So almost $200. You know what? I'm going to add the $10 for the $200. I'm just going to go ahead and add it so that way we can, we only need $100 to finish this one. So let's go ahead and add the 20 and add the 20 I mean the 10 on the back so we only need $100 in this one to finish this challenge next is our $2 savings challenge this one is laminated so I'm gonna be using my pink sharpie I am going to be adding $2 to this one because I know that I have $5 in um, oh I think this one I had added this one, I think I had colored it twice last week, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, two, 22. Let me count the money just to make sure. One, oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Why does this say 22? Okay, well I have $24. Good thing I checked. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I did um, color one extra one, so I should have 24. I need to, yeah, that's going to be colored in next time. So, because I remember when I went to edit the video, I saw that I colored it, colored an extra an extra little thing so I knew that I had messed up <laughs> next is my five dollars savings challenge I am going to be adding five to this one and now we have 20 40 60 65 70 so let's color in a five Okay, so now we have 70. Okay, 
Next is our $15 savings challenge. I don't have any change. Um, so I need change for a 20. Mm, let me see if I have some from my Wells Fargo. 10, 15, 20. So I'll get this, put this in here and okay so for our 15 we are going to be adding 15 dollars and let's go ahead and color this first and then we'll add the amount towards the back I think this is drying out because it feels a little bit rough when I try to color it. Plus 15. Should we have we should have $255. So let's go ahead and count that. So we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 55. 255 and the total amount to save in this one is $450 next is our 5,000 savings challenge now for this one let me see how much I have left over 20 40 60 80 85 90 I have a $90 um, I in this one so let's go ahead and add the night all the ninety dollars. So I have twenty, forty, sixty, eighty no twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety, ninety dollars. So let's go ahead and color this. And let's see. I do have five hundred in the um, bank already. So and I washed these $1 bills, so that's why they look all funky. So let's go ahead and see how much we have now. I think I had fixed the tracker last time. So now we have, I'm gonna use the calculator for this one because I don't want it to be one, two, three, four, 500. So we have 500. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 628 plus 500 that we have in the bank. We have 1,128. So plus 90, 1,128. Okay, so that is it for this one. And I think I'm gonna, I was going to deposit the $500, but sometimes I need change. And so I'll rather just, I guess I'll keep it in here in case I need change or once I condense, I'll put that in the bank. But I like having change because sometimes, um, I have bigger bills so but anyways that is going to be it for this week's cash stuffing video i hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for sticking around if you stayed towards the end i really appreciate all your support um with watching and everything but yeah that is going to be it for today's video thank you so much for watching and all your support i really appreciate it make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe down below and yeah and hopefully i will see you guys in my next video bye